welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and I've got a car vlog today. It's Tuesday, August 7th. I just went to try to vote, and my polling place is not open. There's nothing there, so I'm not sure what's going on. I'll wait till like 8 or so. I mean, it's right now just a little before 7, and call my county's Board of Elections and find out what the heck's going on. I need to. Do, I wanted to vote before work, but that didn't happen. So I will vote after work. Ugh, I'm all puffy today. No makeup, allergies, and my lips are sunburnt from my ride. And so, no makeup today. Which is okay. I did get a quick shower. My crazy hair is always crazy. And I ran out the door to get to my pole by 6.30 because that's when they're supposed to open. There was another gentleman there too, so I know I'm not nuts. That's where I vote, but we'll figure it out. I'm super excited. Um, if you watch Auntie Cuckoo here on YouTube. She is doing a fall pumpkin palooza, I believe it's called, collab for anybody who wants to do it. And the challenge is creating a piece of fall decor for your home for $5 or less. Crazy, I know. So last night on my way home, I stopped at Goodwill over by where I work. It's a pretty decent one as far as home goods type thing goes. The one by my house has more clothing. This one has more decor type items, furniture, things like that. Coffee. And I picked up the best item. It's a huge wall hanging it's like I got wood around it, like a wooden frame built on, and then in the middle there's a rectangular sheet of wood. I'll um, I'll show you when I start working on it, or you can see the video. It'll go up August 25th in the morning. But I'm gonna make a harvest sign out of it, and the sign itself, which is pretty tall, I mean it's four feet tall. The painting, artwork, whatever it is, um, it was a dollar ninety-nine. I have a Cricut to cut out my stencil. I bought some uh, vinyl at the dollar store for a dollar, and then I will either freehand paint some flowers around the harvest sign, or I have some felt leaves, and I have all the paint. Even if I buy some at 79 cents at Joanne or Walmart. So I'm super excited about that. I have all the paintbrushes. I have Mod Podge. So I'm really excited. This is going to be fabulous. So that makes me excited to do that. I just have to cut. It's very gold. It's an Asian scene that's depicted on it, painted onto it. So I need to get my sander out and sand down the wooden piece in the center that has the painting on it. I'll leave the gold around the sides and then I'll decide what I'm going to do with it. But it's all going to be painted like an old wooden distressed farm sign. So I'm going to go from Asian to country. Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> my lip is so sunburnt and I don't have my chapstick with me. I have one on my desk. And I took the one out of my purse and I forgot to put it back. I hate it when I do that. Um, so yeah, I'm a little hoarse this morning. The allergies, it's raining. Excuse me. I am ready for fall. I'm so ready for fall. And Christmas. And I need to get, I finished my super stealthy early present. I was going to give it to somebody for Christmas, but I probably will give it to that person as another gifting idea because I don't want to wait till Christmas. So 
so they'll get it early. But I will put together maybe tonight when I get home a little video of what it is that can go up after I've gifted it. So that's exciting. And I had a little scrap left over of it and was able to create something for my house. So that's neat too. But I really needed to get it done. I need to get my craft room back in order. I've already started Christmas shopping and I need to figure out a place to start stashing Christmas gift ideas or things as I create them or purchase them. Because I'm thinking I'm going to be done with Christmas for the most part well before November. And then I'll be able to enjoy the holiday season. That's kind of my goal. I don't like waiting till last minute for sure to do Christmas shopping. Although the sales are fabulous in the holiday time, I don't have children to buy for. Like young children. Um, my two young cousins that are 12 and 14, 11 and, 11 and 14 right now, or 11 and 15, they're young. I think they're 11 and 15. Um, yeah, 15. They, uh, you know, we do the take them somewhere for Christmas, not buy them something. They're, you know, they're very well cared for. They have no need in their lives for more toys or things. So we gift them time and experience. Um, a couple years ago, I took them to see a Broadway show here in Columbus. We saw The Grinch um, last year. Year we went to our historical society. They have like a Victorian Christmas setup. That was a lot of fun. It was cold, but it was fun. And this year, I'm super excited. The Nutcracker movie is coming out. So we're going to do dinner and a movie with the kids and then go back to the house and play board games and have cookies and they can spend the night and then I'll bring them home after breakfast the next morning. And that type of an activity, they're very busy kids. They are all, you know, involved in sports and school and all that. So this type of an activity where I I don't have a specific date. So when we get closer, I can just say, hey, are they, what can we do this weekend, this weekend? You know, we'll, we'll coordinate. Last year, I had purchased tickets for us all to go see the Nutcracker, the ballet. Um, but unfortunately, the night of the show, the kids had, you know, they had activities that they couldn't miss. So it was not a big deal. Sarah and I went and saw the Nutcracker Ballet. I actually sold the other tickets to a nice lady and her daughter. And so it was fine. And then we ended up doing the, um, Historical Society, uh, very, I can't remember what it was called, but it, it was like the Victorian era. They have buildings outdoors. You walk around, they were roasting chestnuts. They had stilts. Riley, the, my older cousin, he's a 15 year old. He really enjoyed trying to do the stilts. They had dancing, they had sleigh rides, which are really on like a wagon. We just had a really good time, but we'll do the movie this year. So that's done. Um, the parents and my brothers I bought when I was in Scotland a, I'm sorry it's bouncing, the road is bumpy I purchased from the castle they had a room and in the room there was a man with a computer and you could look up your name, your last name and see what the history was. Now they did not have my exact spelling. My last name is a little different, but they didn't have the exact spelling, but they had some derivatives of it. So I chose the one that historically, and from what we have been able to figure out, um, I'm sorry, somebody's just driving like a nutcase, had our story. So what, it, what they printed out for you was your family crest if your family had a crest and they filled out and then the, at the bottom 
of this scroll was the history of your name, where it came from, what your hair, you know, what, oh, stop bouncing, what the people, you know, did. Okay, this is not working. Is that better? Yeah, I'm not trying to make anybody sick here. There, that seems better. Um, you know where the name came originated. My name is Anglo-Saxon, so it wasn't even Scottish, but it is British, or you from the UK. Anyway, so I'm gonna go to Staples soon and get color copies made of these scrolls for my cousins and siblings. It's not really a gift. I mean, I'm gonna give it to them at Christmas time, but definitely is more family history, you know, of our name. So we all have the same name. So I'm gonna do that. I'm getting super excited for fall crafting. I picked up a few things. Um, I still haven't found the cotton stems and I'm kind of thinking I'm not going to. I just, ugh, my nose. I just can't get to the dollar store as much, as fast as they're putting things out and they're getting scooped up, but we'll see. I did get the small picks that I will make a um, arrangement for, you know, out of. And I picked up the floral foam last night to make the little arrangement. So that's yeah, that'll be done and easy. I've also decided I need to go into my garage and pull out all of the totes that have decorations in them for seasons and sort everything by season. Spring, summer, winter, you know, fall. There's nothing Christmas in my garage. It's all summer, spring, and then fall. The Christmas stuff is all downstairs in a specific storing area. So then there's that. So yeah, not too crazy much going on in my life right now. I wanted to get the voting done this morning, like I said, but I'm off work at four today, so I will be able to vote. Excuse me. I think the polls are open till 7.30. If I can figure out where to go vote. So I'll do that on my way home. And then this is a busy week. Friday, I'm going with my brother, sister-in-law, and um, some friends down to Cincinnati. So it's a couple hour drive. And um, we're gonna see Chicago and Ario Speedwagon Friday night. So I gotta get my stuff ready for that. And then Saturday night, I'm working at my part-time job, and they're the Smashing Pumpkins concert. And then Sunday, I'm helping Sarah move. Next week is Beyonce Jay-Z concert I'm working. So that'll be kind of fun. And then the 22nd, oh, I cannot wait. I'm working Journey and Def Leppard. Fave, oh, sorry about the bouncing. That is my favorite show. I love Journey. So do you, do you, ugh, my work schedule's kind of picking up a little bit, which is good. I'm ready to get back into the swing of things. I'll be hanging my bike up on the wall, back on this rack until next spring. I mean, I may go for some rides, but right now my butt hurts. And the thought of getting on that bike and pedaling anytime soon, that's not appealing to me. Goodness gracious, I'm super sleepy. So I'll try to bring you along to the concert, although I'm not really sure anybody would be interested in Chicago Ario Speedwagon. I'm definitely gonna be making some DIY videos, especially with my dollar store stuff, and then that video for the collab, or I'm not sure if it's a collab, because it's not really collaborative. You just invited whoever wants to take part. You make your video, <clears throat> and then you post it on a certain day at a certain time and tag her and you know there's specific things that need to happen and um, she will link them all together so I'm super excited I need to find the right font and the right colors and I'm thinking like a burnt orange over that gold would look pretty just kind of smear it on over the gold wooden frame the wood in the center will be painted. Um, 
for sure. And then I will go over it with a sanding block and then seal it so it stays. Um, the only oddity is there is between the outside frame and then this wooden piece that sits on top is like a burlapy type fabric behind it so I'm thinking I'm gonna go over that with like a brown dry brush to try to make it look more burlapy and less Asian I guess so I don't know that's what's going on in my life uh, comment down below what's going on in your life how's your summer going are you looking forward to fall because I sure am so go ahead like subscribe hit the bell comment let's chat have a good one bye